A thousand KC. Once I complete the elite deity, I will be able to always get two chompies at once. Like when they spawn, it's always gonna be two. This guy's gonna give like one by one, I believe. He's just gonna keep like one, one, one. Yeah, like this. These, these are not even new. These are like old ones. So nothing pops out. But soon, any moment now. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa, Jesus. There's four of them. One, two, three, four, five missing and a chompy chick. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to get the chompy chick. The best part is I can go dry. It's only one in 500 chance to get it. And I need 4,000 KC anyway for the last hat. So make me as dry as I can go. Oh, by the way, the kills an hour went to like 270. I thought like 250 was the maximum. But now after elite, I get always double birds. Maybe I can push like average 300, which should take like an hour and a half to get the pet on average. It's like literally the quickest pet. As long as you have a lead diary, it's so quick to get. Oh, was that? Yeah, that's uh, Chompy Chick at 1,216 KC. There we go. That's it. Done. It was going very well. Look, 300 kills an hour. This could definitely be completed even today if I wanted to do this. But we're not gonna do that. Currently trying to do a little bit of steps in Mauritania, and I'm wondering after this trouble brewing minigame, will I get a collection log like automatically after it's finished because of this? Is that not? Although that's all medium completed, but I guess no. Oh, it doesn't exist. So it's only the stuff that you can buy from the shop. You can see there's 30 items that you can get. Okay, that's 50, and these are 20 each. So I can buy one, two, three. Bam. Three items. I don't know what is this for? Trinkets? No. Hey, maybe it looks a little bit better now. 460 collection log slots so far. Ideally wanted to try this like a couple weeks ago because I've seen videos of people killing the rabbit, but this. Apparently it's a 100% chance if you can defeat the rabbit, it will drop a crystal grail which is another slot, but apparently can take really long to kill. I do believe he's in this cave. This is just a little bit north of Prevdinas, and there's just a rabbit, level 2. That's the guy. You kill him, and it drops that grail. Collection log completed. The problem is, I think he has like a 2000 HP or something like that, and he hits quite, quite high as well, so... Jesus, 32. He cannot max 43, can he? I better just run, I think. Yep, yep, that will do. I am so inaccurate on this habit. This is the proper way to do this, by the way. I guess, like, unless you use, like, BGS to reduce the defense and maybe, like, maybe, actually, that could work, like, extremely well. But this is what most people do. They hit once or twice, go out, go in. Uh, you, you take no damage, but it is extremely slow. Oh, I have stamina pot. Couldn't I just run around? Like, you know what I mean? Like, kind of like Sarah. The problem is that his animation, I believe, when he gets hit, he... Yeah... Maybe it's probably possible. Hold up. God damn it, dude. <laughs> I died to level two rabbit. Is this it? Okay, so it didn't take that long. Only oh I was not even expecting that. I don't know why, but it took only 21 minutes. I've heard it takes like 40 minutes, but uh, I did not go in and out. I just ran around, just grabbed some stamina. I'll take the crystal grail, which is tradable apparently, and you can sell it for 400k. So if you want a guaranteed 400k, this is the place where you come. And that's another collection log entry for miscellaneous stab. Last time I finished with 85 fire making. Look at it. And now, and now it's level 90, which actually has no milestones at all. I mean, I could burn Redwoods, which is quicker fun making experience than doing Winter Todd, but since I'm going for collection log items, I still need to spend quite a bit of time in this place. But you know what this means? Pretty much the full Pyromancer's outfit is still missing at 235 KC. Obviously, it's not counting the chest that I haven't opened. Oh my god, now Winter Todd is associating with just not dropping anything. Wow. And I got a duplicate Bruma torch. I do believe you can actually turn them in, no? So I got two gloves, three torches, <laughs> nothing else. Wait, is it like this? You just use it on this extra page, uh, extra crate, yes, that will do. Unlike two, yes, please, let's open. Maybe you're gonna be lucky. I mean, the UCs are quite expensive, but that's about it. I still wanted to get something. So I got all the way to 92 fire making. I got all of these supply crates right now, and I just hope that I get a pyromancer. So I checked, it's like, was it 1 in 150 drop rate for like the body? And I assume the other pieces are like the same, so I should have gotten them. I, it's really going dry. It's, it, isn't it, okay, again, warm gloves. Isn't it weird when you don't get a single piece and, you know, some people go all the way to 99 fire making. That's the whole point is to boost your XP rates, and you just never get it. In the, oh, oh. Oh, thank you. You know what they say, level 92 is half of 99, yeah? And uh, should be half of the collection lock too. Oh! Oh! God damn, I'm getting lucky now. 
Uh, oh, dude, I want to say one more, please. Wait, I can cannot you get dupes of this? I got either very lucky. Look at this, garb, hood, and robe. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so yeah, it was worth it. Camping a couple more levels for this. Doug would be proud of me, I'd say. And yeah, we're missing tome boots and the pet. Actually, this looks good. This is like good enough. And I'm not even 99, so I'm halfway. I'm, I'm very sure to accept the tome. I should get the boots eventually. And again, level 92 is not a milestone. I need 95 eventually for Shades of Morton. I believe, yeah, that's last item that I needed. That's a no more beekeepers event. I can just dismiss every single one of them. Now, also while I'm waiting for the next game to start, you know when it says like one minute until next winter tot spawns? I just light up redwoods and I notice you get extra almost 100k XP an hour by just doing this every single game. Now obviously I was doing a random event so I couldn't finish the whole inventory but usually you can. Like usually I would get around 220k XP an hour and now it's 330k. Oh yeah I got every single piece of beekeepers now but no mime every time I get it it's just maze and it's like Bruh, and there's like emotes to unlock as well. I need to get it like actual five, six, seven times before I unlock everything. I guess maybe I'm going for 95? Because I got very comfortable in this place and it's good because usually I hate Winter Todd. So the moment I can just at least turn my brain off and just completely brain that do it, I'll try to do it. I'm level 95. You probably thought I'm gonna give up. I'm going to assume that if I get boots that you cannot get any duplicate pieces. So I'm just going to assume the next piece, which is very likely. If you don't count warm gloves, I think they're not actually part of the set. So at any moment it's going to pop out. Oh, yep. That actually was true. That was actually true. There we go. Boots. I have everything except the tome now and the pet. Obviously pet is, well, it's a pet. You don't really grind for it. But yeah, it's uh, eight out of. 10 now. This looks really good now and I'm not even 99 fire making yet. Well now since I got to level 95 that means I can go back to Shades of Morton and finish that collection log. That was the whole goal. That was why I was fire making but at the same time I could also do a little bit of Winter Tot collection log which daily paid off in the end. According to Wiki to get the full Zealot set you need approximately 660 shade remains burnt. A gold key spawn. There we go. If you haven't seen my video you just literally place logs place the remains and you light it up that's it except for a redwood you need 95 fire making that's why i had to level up in winter thought i'll just burn everything and only then i will start using keys it's gonna be way more fun when i can fill full inventory of keys okay if you look at the chat i burned over 600 logs and these are the keys that i have obtained and my god this is gonna be so satisfying because this is for like a lot of chests i never had like so many keys at once can just use master scroll book to teleport. Well, it's been a few days since I've been in this place and I never even dreamed about getting this outfit because I was only level 73 initially fine making and I was like, here I am. So, you know, maybe one piece I'm expecting the, the, this run. Yeah, maybe. Oh, wait, these are brown. You see, I cannot do all four. I have to actually use this corner and wait until these close. Oh, there we go. Boots. Okay. I. Uh, oh, no. oh, it's a gold lock. It's not a piece of the. Because I, I don't know if I get lucky or not. You know, I wanted to say it's been like four trips and I'm kind of getting scared that I will not fully complete it. But I still have over 200 keys even right now. And I just got the bottoms. So the last piece left. And it's finally going to be green. Yep. Okay. What? That's it? What do I do with the rest of the keys? Like, they're just gonna sit in the bank? I... Oh man, I would have saved so much time because I thought, oh, maybe it gives fine making XP as well while burning those. It was like 150k XP an hour, nothing much, but I guess it's added up because it took me like two hours to burn all of them. And then I just complete like this and I got all of these keys. It's pretty much 300 keys left. Now, I also noticed that you can get elite clues from them and I don't remember last time... I got it. Yeah, I have a lead in the bank, so maybe I'm gonna use these to like, uh... I'm going to keep the keys. Now the collection log, 471. Bam! Shades of Morton completed. It is green. I don't have to go back there ever again, but I will, because I still have the keys at some point. So I got 20 amulet of the damned in total, 75 fine cloth, and just one more bronze lock and four gold locks. Good, man, that was fun. Uh, it actually forced me, it's kind of like Master Clues back in the day. If I would ever get Elite or Master Clue with a step that I cannot do, I would level up that skill. So it kind of 
forces you to do something. So in this case, I was forced to get to 95 fire making because I really wanted to complete this and it's now finally finished. You don't need as many shades to burn as I did. So just buy like 300 each and maybe if you get lucky, because I don't know, maybe I get actually lucky, but it felt pretty common. I wouldn't just go for like 300. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you very soon.